Who doesn't love tips and tricks? There are some conventional jobs that are very difficult to complete, but we have the easy route to accomplish such tasks. Today we'll go through 15 such effective repairers tips and tricks that you can apply. We are sure you'll find many of these tips useful. Let us move into the subject and you guys can thank us later. Number 1. Sticky tapes help us do various jobs, but once it is done, we will stick the end to the tape. But next time, to find that end depends on your luck. There is a trick to overcome this problem. Next time, after use, end the last strip of tape by bending diagonally and cutting the strip from there. Next time, run your fingers through the circle and there you go, you've got it. Number 2. Nails No household jobs would be complete without its use. But how do you store these nails? Let us consider that you are storing these nails inside your workshop box. It is difficult and harmful to let your hands inside the box. Moreover, it's not handy. Guys, here is a tip for you that you might never have thought of. Take a magnet and put it inside the pocket of your workshop shirt. Then place a few nails on the outside of your pocket. The nails will stay there because there is a magnet on the other side. Now you can take nails from the outside of your pocket as easy as that. Number 3. Tightening bolts or nuts is usually done with a spanner. But what if your hands are all greasy or sweaty? Your hands will slip from the spanner and the spanner will not be able to tighten or loosen the bolt. Do one thing. Take another spanner and lock the mouth of this spanner on the end of the other spanner and rotate the other spanner. Try this and it will help you. Number 4. Drilling is one of the most common machining jobs that we do for completing normal household repairs. We use drills mostly to create holes, but what if the holes are not smooth, especially if you're trying to make holes on thin wooden slabs? We have a solution for this too. First, place the wooden slab on a wooden block, and take the drill and make holes in the slab. The drill will pass through some depth of this wooden block also. This means that the slab will never get affected by the vibrations from the drill tool. Make as many holes as you want to make. The holes will be perfect, just like you. Number 5. Time for another spanner hack. Spanners are different sizes. What if you did not get the right sized one? Suppose the spanner is a bit bigger. Take a coin and place the coin in the space between the spanner and the bolt. Now slightly start rotating. Once the combination is tight, the spanner will go smoothly. Number 6. Isn't the nail staying on the drill bit before drilling the hole? Then we have a tip for you. Take a magnet and stick it to the drill bit. Now the drill bit acts like a small magnet. Your nail will easily cling to the tip of the drill bit and you can easily insert the nail into a wall. Number 7. How will you paint the roof with a paintbrush? Simply painting with a brush by hopping on a ladder is the simple answer. But what if the paint drips and falls on your pretty face? That doesn't sound good. Take a lid of a plastic utensil, then make a slit at the lid center so that the brush's tip will go into it and the neck of the brush is fixed. Now paint using the brush. The dripping paint will only fall on the lid and not on your face. Number 8. Suddenly you have decided to change the look of your room. So you go into the storeroom to get those paint brushes. Unfortunately, your brush looks awful. You totally forgot to clean the brush properly after the previous use. Now the bristles are all stiffened with the paint. But do not worry, we've got you. Take a bowl and place the head of the brush inside the bowl. Pour some vinegar into this and squeeze some lemon juice too. Wait for the brush to completely soak in this for a whole day. Then take out the brush and it's all ready for use. Wash and wipe it clean. Number 9. How will you mix the paints? The most probable answer will be using a brush or sticks. But still, that would not help in uniform mixing. Now, go to your tools room and take out your drill machine. At the drill bit, tie three plastic tags as shown. Cut the plastic tags up to a certain length. Make sure all three tags are at an angle of around 120 degrees. Now put the drill bit into the paint and start the machine. The rotation of the drill rotates these tags and the paint will be mixed to your satisfaction. Number 10. You need to change the tire of your car. The most uninteresting thing is rotating the jack to raise the wheels. How can we do this with some more ease? Do you have any ideas? We have one and we would love to share it with you. Just look at this person doing it using a drill machine. As the drill rotates, the jack gets rotated. Number 11. How will you cut a bolt to the desired length? Cutting it in a conventional way is difficult and time consuming. So here, the drill machine will come to the rescue. 
Take the drill machine and connect the bolt to it. Place a cutting tool such as a blade to the thread length needed and start the drill. As it rotates, the bolt will have contact with the blade and it will get cut to the length needed. Number 12. Mostly we use sandpaper to smooth surfaces after work is completed. We take the sandpaper and use our hands to rub it on the surface. But why are you going through the long cut if you have a drill machine? Take the sandpaper in the form of a long rectangle. Wrap this to the circular drill surface which rotates when the machine is switched on. Now, as the drill rotates, the sandpaper will also rotate. Place the paper near the surface or tools which need some smoothness. Number 13. After drilling operations are completed, the workplace looks dusty with all the dust from the workpiece, be it the wall or wood. We have got a trick to collect the dust simultaneously as the work is done. Suppose you're drilling a hole in the vertical upward direction. Then take an old plastic bottle and cut out the base part. Poke a center hole at the bottom of the base and insert the drill bit into it. Now do your job. All the dust will fall into this bottle base. If you're drilling a hole in a vertical wall, then take a sticky note. Bend the note to an L shape and stick it below the point where the hole will be drilled. As the hole is drilled, all the dust will fall into this paper's bent portion. Number 14. Now let us keep the drill machine aside for some time. During electrical works, sometimes we need to remove that rubber insulation from the tip of the wire. Usually we use a blade to remove that part, but many times that will cut our fingers along with the wire. This time no blood will be spilled. Take out your stapler from the drawer. Make sure the stapler has no staples inside it. Now place the end part of the wire between the stapler and hold it closed. Pull the wire out. Ta-da! The insulation has been removed without much effort. Number 15. You must draw the design first when designing your own table or chair. Sometimes the design includes circles too. This design might not be within the radius drawn using a compass. Then what will you do? Many of you might know this hack. Let us explain it to you. First, you will take your measuring tape. Drill holes on the tape every 1cm apart, for example, at 1cm, 2cm, 3cm and so on. Now place a nail on the zero spots. Insert a pencil or chalk at the desired radius. Rotate the hand around the center by holding the center nail firm. You have just got the perfect circle. How did you like the tips and tricks? If you know more such tricks, let us know in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, give us a big fat thumbs up. More videos will now appear on your screen. Click on them and enjoy. We will meet again in yet another interesting video. Until then, stay tuned and goodbye.